So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something really special with the space that I'm standing in right now. You may remember it from the fall home tour. I cleared everything out of this corner. I had my printer back here and some office supplies on the shelves. Um, in fact, I operated some of my Etsy shop out of this corner here, moved everything downstairs, and now I have this awesome space here that I'm planning on creating a plant room with. Now in my dreams when I thought of having a plant room someday, it was you know a lot bigger than this and had windows all around and maybe fans in the ceiling and shiplap walls and all that you know fun stuff. But maybe that's a someday thing. But for now I'm gonna use what I have here. space that I will just love filled with plants and maybe even the trickle of water and you guys know how much I love to hear the sound of you know trickling water and often that's just something that can be enjoyed in the outdoors you know during the summer because I have a few water features out there but I want to hear that during the long winter months in here this year. And we are planning on eventually replacing this door with a full glass door, so that will help to bring more light in. But for now, I'll just add a grow light. I moved all my plants in from the back deck since our nights got pretty cold. So I'm planning on arranging those on the shelves behind me. And I have a little stand that I had made in a previous video. I'm planning on using that in the corner here. And I have a few other little ideas that I'll throw in here. So join me as I work on this fun project and I hope you guys enjoy. I discovered Amazon has these bamboo fountain kits and I sent for one and I'm so impressed guys. You can actually use your own container, whether you know, it be a pot or a bowl, and kind of convert it into a little fountain the way it sounds. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I found this granite bowl at a garage sale earlier this summer. I believe I paid $5 for it. I thought it would make the cutest little fountain for my plant corner. So out in my little backyard pond, I have a water plant that I'm planning on putting in this bowl. It is, I believe it's called a shell flower. The light and the bulb are both from Amazon also, and I will make sure to put those in my Amazon store in case any of you guys are interested in purchasing any of these things. I also got this hammock swing from Amazon, and I thought it would just look lovely in this corner, and it would just be a nice, peaceful place to sit and relax and listen to the water.
I wanted to mention this hammock chair is so comfortable, guys. I just love it. Um, I've had other, you know, hammocks in the past that weren't quite as comfortable as this one. I'm just loving it. It seems to be really sturdy. Um, it says it holds up to 290 pounds. And again, I will link that below if you're interested in purchasing one. The bulb I'm using in this light here is an actual grow bulb. It is meant for plants. It's a really nice bright white color. And I am just hoping I can get these plants to hang in there throughout the winter here. Um, and then I have them for next summer for the patio again. I am loving this water feature. I don't have it turned on all the time, but when I sit back here, I just want to hear that sound of water. I will have it you know, going. And I did end up buying a smaller pump. Um, they're not expensive at all. I think I paid maybe $8 for it, but it was a 50 GPH, which that is gallons per hour pump. And it's called a miniature aquarium pump, I think. And that turned out to be just the right amount of water to run through these bamboo um, sticks here. I believe the pump that came with the kit was a 70 BPH. Um, it was definitely you know, bigger than the one I have now. And it was just a little bit too much water for me for the for an indoor fountain. I know this drop cloth fabric pillow cover is probably more fitting for the spring season. But if you're like me and need that gardening fix throughout the year, you may be interested in this cover. Um, I did create a listing on my shop for it, and also the black and white stripe one is available. And then I have two more. One of them is a gray and white stripe one, and the other is black with some words on it. And the words are also kind of gardening related, but I did go ahead and create a listing on my shop for it. And I will link all this below in the description box underneath the video. And also the vintage garden sign that is on the shelf. I have that decal available. I also wanted to mention that I have a few new curtain listings on my shop. I found this amazing fabric at a local Fabric Outlet store. And of course they only have a limited amount of this fabric. so. I will only be able to make a certain amount of these curtains, but if you are at all interested in some nice neutral colored curtains, um, go on over to my shop, check them out. I also added some gray and white striped curtains. I've had the tan and white for a while now on my shop. I've sold a, a lot of those, and I do get some requests sometimes for gray ones, so I have those available now. I hope you enjoyed this video on creating a little plant room or space and maybe are motivated to do something like this in your home. Just create a little corner where you can sit and surround yourself with things you love. And as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a fantastic week and I will see you in next Wednesday's video. Bye!